What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Keith here, Jesse on the camera. Tonight on the bench we are working on the third video I believe in the series on the pre-runner. Okay guys, in this chapter of the build series of this truck, we are going to handle the far too rigid rear end. We do need to loosen that up. So we're quickly going to pop those shocks off, drain the oil on them, count the uh, holes on the pistons, and we're going to start with our micro pin vise drill set and open up one hole at a time on the shocks, go from there. So let's get that open and let's go from there. Okay guys, we have the shocks pulled off the truck. We have the ones without the springs and the ones with the springs. We're gonna start with the ones without the springs and we're gonna see what's in them. I can imagine it is very heavy as they are using a 100 millimeter shock on a steel crawler. So they're gonna wanna try to slow that down. Okay, so the oil is not as thick as I thought it would be, but we do have Three hole pistons only in there. Actually, very nice. Very nice shot. No complaints with that. So, we need to pull that shock apart to get that valve and drill that out cleanly. Okay, when you pull the shock, um, rod end off the bottom of the uh, shock shaft. Give it a good clean with your fingers. Make sure there's no sharp edges of burrs. It wouldn't hurt just to take a piece of sandpaper and just knock down any burrs because you do need to go up through that seal pack. You don't want to damage it and do make sure you loosen off the bottom cap. I even like to pull the bottom seal pack out just a little bit and then thread that back on. Just one thread to hold that just so you do not damage the seal pack when you come up through here with the threaded part. So, very gentle. Whoop, there you go. If you rip that, you're gonna have a leaky shock and so far these shocks are holding up really well, no leaks, so. Okay, so the shock piston in it is marked with two little dots, so we'll say it's a number two with three piston holes in it. Now, in the past, the Axial used to give you a shock pack with it. This is all we have at RTR, so we're just gonna drill those out. Well, the holes in them are red. How's that sound? They fit number red. <laughs> number red, let's go with that. Okay, so we drilled all three holes out. We lied instead of just saying one at a time. Jesse and I had a corporate decision and we decided to uh, run them all out, make sure it's super clean. Should have had this standing upside down to give it time to drain out the rest of the old oil. Again, make sure your cap is loose on the bottom. And you can drop this through nicely. Now, if this was a new shock, you'd want to lube this up before you drop it in. Nicely wiggle that through. Don't drive it through. Okay, now you can tighten your seal pack up. Put your rod end back on the bottom. Put it to half mast. Fill to the top. Slowly twist and wiggle down. If you just pull, the air bubbles will shoot the oil into your overhead light, or your eye. <laughs> Once you get mostly all the way down, fill it halfway up. These big shocks, holy crap. I used to put that much oil in a shock. Now, I just work it back and forth from half to the bottom to get all that oil out. Oil? Air. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so yeah, basically you just keep working from the middle bottom section up, kind of keep going up, work all the bubbles out the top. I'm no professional at it, it's just, it's just how we get it done. Now the trick is to not have, when you put the cap on, not to trap too much air in there because it'll push the shock down and then give you an air lock, da da da. The nice thing about these axle shocks is they actually have a removable bleeder screw you can pop out really quick. So what I do is push the shock pretty much right to the top, get the oil sitting almost meniscus effect or water tension, surface tension, something like that, what they call it, where the bubbles above, you know what I mean? And then put the shock on, thread it down. Now I do that with the bleeder cap screw in, some people do it with it out. And then we can see how it performs. You are always going to get that little bit of that pullback, but once you're sitting on the truck with the springs and under natural weight, it's going to sit that low anyway. So, so it feels a lot better. Now that is 35 weight only. Now we can go to a lighter weight oil. That is just what we had on hand. We really haven't done racing in a long time. I think I have 22 weight oil sitting on the shelf in the other room, the other room with all my race car stuff. Want to double check? Yeah. Remember? We used to be cool. We used to be cool. Okay, guys, it already feels a lot better than the stock shock on the other side. You can see how quick we can bounce that guy up and down versus the one on the other side with the oil they're running in it and the no extra holes drilled in it. This is a factory shock. All we did was pull the... Um, Retainer off the bottom of the spring you can see a lot more hydro pushback. They didn't bleed them out factory and stuff So no problem. We'll get that dealt with but Looking pretty good on the 35 weight now We do have some 27 and a half TLR and some teen AE 15 weight this stuff's like water We actually might put some 15 weight into the front shocks and not adjust the holes um, between the beginning of the video and this part in, we actually remembered we used to be cool and do racing, so we went into our old racing stuff and found some different stuff from our on-road and off-road and go-fast days, I guess. Before we got old, started going slow. But anyhow, yeah. Feeling a lot better than that one. Okay, so like Jesse said, we're going to get these back two shocks uh, matched up the same. Uh, the same oil in them, drilled out the same, and then we're just going to swap the front shocks with the springs on them to the super lightweight 15 oil. Go with the super lightweight. If that is too light, then we'll go to 27 and a half. We'll drill out one hole on the front ones. Go from there. Okay, guys, there you go. We have the shocks in the rear done. We went with the 15 weight oil in all four of the shocks in the rear. We did drill out the pistons in the rear. We left the front one stock and it seemed to work out perfectly. I could grab the rear of the chassis and slam it up and down pretty good and the tires don't hop up and down. You can see there's nothing holding them down. That's just the natural weight of them. Works great, same as the front. I don't know what else you're looking for that looks good. We can drop the truck it's got a really nice cushion for jumping it lands on the rear first everything is come together very happy with it now we'll take it outside for a rip in the intern Jesse's building his truck we have that right here off camera you guys will see that in the next video um, stay tuned for that one we'll see you guys outside in a few seconds to do some ripping
Okay guys, that brings us to the end of the third video, some shock tuning on the truck. Uh, we did a little bit of a gearing change when we changed out that transmission to that Vanquish all aluminum one in there now since we did blow up the first one. Now it is only five degrees above freezing right now where we are, so the shock wheel felt good on the bench, but as soon as we got it outside and started running, it started to slow down a little bit. It's still not horrible. So we're gonna try to find like a five weight oil and go down to a super lightweight, a five or zero or something even lighter get that back in just loose now we have some body roll it's starting to come together pretty good we want it just to be a little bit looser we might also try a softer spring but we are happy with the ride height that it's at right now but anyhow stay tuned we'll be back in a couple of videos later we got a couple uh halloween themed videos coming up to do and then we'll come back to this and jesse's um also building one right now he'll have that one done by the time we come back with this one and we'll take what we learned on this one, put into that one. We'll have both and do some awesome ripping. Anyhow, end of this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Keep back to work.